Welcome back and thank you for joining me. Thanks to d5t5.com and Vidash, these guys are awesome. Through this website and through Vidash, I was able to install the TFT cluster on my 2009 Volvo XC70 T6. It's polestar. The TFT retrofit will work on P3 platform on S360, XC60, S80, XC70 and V70. If you own one of these Volvos, you're able to update your analog old cluster to the new TFT panel. The previous attempt with the previous guys was unsuccessful. The panel had too many glitches and problems. I had to remove it and I had to delete the video from YouTube. This is that same cluster um, that which is used from eBay. And in this video, I'm going to show you just that it's actually back in my car and it works well. The next videos, I will show you how it's done. And agree with me that the original cluster is now pretty much old especially compared to the new cars that are coming out the technology is moving forward and it definitely makes your car look older now once you install this tft cluster on your volvo your volvo will uh, just lose all those years guaranteed following the instructions on the 5t5.com I was able to install the new cluster once it's in and it's programmed it actually works very well the old cluster we can put on the shelf and let it collect dust and this is how the cluster will welcome you with this nice volvo logo illustration once you start the engine immediately what you will notice is that finally you will get the temperature gauge a feature that was missing on the original cluster now you can see how cold the engine is and how quickly it warms up three themes to select from performance echo and elegance for your taste on depends on your mood you can choose which one you like some limitations to consider if your volvo is like mine it doesn't have the screen non senses the eco power indicator will not show any sensible information you cannot turn off the traction control the clock can only be set through v dash if you disconnect the battery or when you switch the time from summer to winter and the service interval can only be reset through v dash but if you install the panel you will have v dash uh, if your volvo is census you win uh, some features will work and in my opinion it's all minor disadvantages as i said the power indicator in performance mode does not show any sensible information just uh, uh, accept it our volvos don't have that feature i'm gonna switch to eco mode here eco theme this is the eco indicator as you can see it doesn't show anything at all not a big deal and this is the standard elegance theme which actually can be upgraded to the R design through Vidish. I'm going to show you later. And this is the time. We don't have that physical knob to adjust the time. So you will, you will need to use Vidish unless you have the census Volvo and you have that screen in the middle. Uh, this is the service reminder. Uh, can only be reset through Vidash and not through any other diagnostic software. Unlike in the previous installation that I did, this time everything works as it should. All information messages appear on the cluster. All indicators show when you need them. The fuel gauge works. The average fuel consumption and remaining uh, mileage to empty tank appears correct. It works. This time it actually works, I'm happy and I'm gonna keep it in my car. The gear indicator, everything shows up as it should. Very nice, everything works. The power and the eco indicators, who cares? It's a minor issue. It is possible to reprogram to the R design theme, which will change the default elegance brown theme to a blue. Once you do that, this is the R Design logo that will replace the Volvo uh, illustration. And once you go into Elegance theme, 
you're gonna see this nice blue um, theme I really like it this is what I keep in my Volvo so it is possible if you like this one better than the brown one driving the Volvo with the new cluster just changes the feel of the car it just lost a few years of its age and it feels so much more modern the cluster is colorful it's beautiful I love it I encourage you to go on the website and just read through the steps on what is involved just go to configuration then click on the TFT retrofit link expand it and just scroll down the steps in the next video I will show you all the steps how I did the installation on my Volvo and you can follow them also to know that Vidash is also used to diagnose your Volvo you can read trouble codes problems you can configure and optimize different features of the car so it's really handy for a Volvo owner I hope that you like this video subscribe to my channel I'll see you next time and next time I will show you all the steps necessary to install the cluster so please Follow me and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.